I want to give you a little conundrum. My grandfather was a pilot for 28 years, yet he never flew a plane. How can that be, you might ask? Well, let's have a look at his pilot's license. His license was for the purpose of conducting ships, sailing, navigating and passing within the limits of the Cardiff Pilotage District. Yes, that's right. He was a pilot who navigated ships in and out of harbour. I'm reminded of my grandfather each time I come down here to Langard Point and see the ships coming in and out of Harwich Harbour. Invariably, there's a pilot launch moving around the area. The largest container ships in the world call it Felixstowe, and to do so they must navigate the waters of Harwich Harbour. The only way big ships can get into harbour is via a dredge channel. It's quite narrow, particularly around Langard Point, and needs good local knowledge to get ships in and out of the harbour without running aground or colliding with something else. Even with all the modern technology, there's no substitute for good local knowledge and it's the job of the pilot to go on board and navigate large ships into harbour. In fact, all ships over 50 metres in length coming in and out of Harwich Haven must have a pilot. The only ships exempt are those whose masters hold a pilotage exemption certificate, usually ferries and other small ships like this one, which are very regular visitors. My grandfather was a pilot first class, which meant that he could pilot any size or type of ship that could fit into Cardiff, Barry or Penarth. Colas, tankers, refrigerated transports, general cargo, banana boats, military or even the Royal Yacht Britannia. The masters of these vessels knew that if he was on board, their ship could safely get through what were and still are treacherous waters. Today, these ports are very quiet but pilots are still needed for larger ships. The piloting of ships goes deep into antiquity because local knowledge has always been necessary to get ships in and out of port. Pilots are even mentioned in the Bible. Down the centuries, Christians have used the analogy of the pilot to describe the way in which God guides his people. Although I must say, the Bible itself doesn't actually use that picture. In the Victorian period, right up to the middle of the 20th century, there was quite a lot of literary, artistic and musical output that focused on Jesus as our pilot through life. Jesus, Saviour, pilot me over life's tempestuous sea. Unknown ways before me roll, hide in rock and treacherous shoal. Chart and compass come from thee. Jesus, Saviour, pilot me. Songs like these are inspired by the story in Matthew, Mark and Luke's Gospel of the way in which Jesus calms a storm on the Sea of Galilee by just telling it to be quiet. His disciples who were in the boat with him were afraid that the storm would drown them and were amazed at what Jesus did and said to themselves, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. I find these verses a good reminder when I go through difficulties or storms in life that Jesus is always there and he's the one that calms the storm and gives me strength to go through all the difficulties that might arise and that's the same for all people who trust and follow him. So the question is this, do you have Jesus on board guiding you through life, dealing with whatever life throws at you? He doesn't guarantee us immunity from the storms of life, but he does give us the power to deal with them. Jesus said, I have come in order that you might have life, life in all its fullness. The promise is that Jesus will bring us safely into God's harbour. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Do you want some direction in life? some certainty about your future. Well, why not ask Jesus to come into your life and allow him to be your pilot and to guide you into God's safe harbour? Well, thanks for listening and may God bless you.